Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first official Pop Dissected podcast. If you're here, that means you're a channel member, and I want to thank you so much for joining, and I greatly appreciate it. For our first topic, we're going to be talking about award shows, and if they're in the decline, and why. So when discussing award shows, I'll be talking about the three that I think are the most primary and discussed. The Billboard Music Awards, American Music Awards, and the Grammys. And I'll additionally only be focusing on the past decade of these shows, just to keep our conversation more streamlined. But not to fret, other decades of these shows will be discussed in future podcasts. So starting with the Billboard Music Awards, they saw their most recent peak in 2015, with 11.8 million viewers. And it has since gone down, tumbling to 3.71 million in 2020. In the past decade, the American Music Awards saw their peak in 2013, with 13.14 million viewers, with 2020 ceremony just being above 4 million. Now, the Grammys is the most staggering to me. 2012 saw incredible numbers of nearly 40 million viewers, with this year's being shy of just 9. In the respective years of their most viewed ceremonies, each show had performances by artists during pretty big eras. The Billboard Music Awards saw Megan Trainor performing Like I'm Gonna Lose You, Ed Sheeran's Bloodstream, Mariah Carey with Infinity to promote her new record. The AMAs saw Katy Perry sing Unconditionally, Ariana Grande's The Way, One Direction's Story of My Life. And the Grammys? They just plain had an amazing lineup. Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Jennifer Hudson, Bruno Mars, Adele, and Taylor Swift. Now, the 2012 Grammys was additionally hosted a day after Whitney Houston had passed, which is important to note, and the show included a tribute to her. May she rest in peace. So now, we can likely see why these shows had these peaks, since they are fueled primarily by their performers. So what has been causing them to decline? Of course, if we think about the past year, we know the situation going on around the world has made everyone's life extremely difficult. So these declines in ratings are naturally understandable. But even before then, ratings have been free-falling. I think one thing that has affected the entertainment industry as a whole is streaming. With streaming becoming a huge force and the dominating one at that, people can choose what they want to watch and when they want to watch it. Before then, you had pay-per-view television and services like Redbox, where you'd rent a physical DVD. While there was still choice, it's safe to say it was rather limited. But with floodgates open, anyone can watch what they want to watch. Is it that no one wants to watch award shows anymore? Perhaps. But I think the factor is, why sit through a three-hour-long program full of commercials when you can watch a movie or a television show uninterrupted? There is also frequency. Award shows were once a kind of big deal. But the spring and fall are now just award season all the time, at least for music. If you miss one award show, there's still tens more to come within a year. So award shows lose what makes them special because of that. Sure, they're still an event, but when you have so many, every single one of them becomes less important. It's like buying too many clothes and then never wearing half of them. I also think as time goes on, artists shuffle. Big ones fade away, new ones become the focus, and others are, well, just there. When artists you care about aren't nominated, you aren't given incentive to watch it. Now, those who love music in general will probably be more keen to watch an award show, no matter who is performing. They may have a favorite there, or they may not. But it's clear, as the lineup of performers changes, and change it has a lot over the past decade, you could be losing viewers who begin expecting the same artists and performers, because around 2010 to 2015, we saw a lot of the same faces over and over. Now, attention span. Plain and simple. With quickly consumable content, such as apps like TikTok, for example, we've come to expect things quicker. Not a lot of people will sit through a three-hour televised performance with commercial breaks. And why would they need to when they can see the results on Twitter in the next morning? Also, there are really only some specific awards people care about. At the aforementioned award shows, it's the artist, song, or album of the year. Those are like the big three. People just don't want to sit through everything else to wait for the biggest awards. So they may tune in at the very end or not watch at all. Additionally, award shows have just lost their specialness, I think. 
And by that, I mean it's routine. Of course, we still have amazing performances, but it's like a hamster wheel. We know how it goes, and there isn't much of an element of surprise anymore. In an age of social media exposure, anyone can sing, create art, make music, music videos. Social media is at its peak right now and has slowly gotten there in the last several years. Back in the day, it was jaw-dropping to see your favorite artist give a killer performance. It was a treat. And of course, it still is. But other people, ordinary people, have huge platforms across the internet. Conventional celebrities are thus no longer the general focus or the apple of everyone's eye. There's beauty gurus, influencers, indie musicians, and content creators on YouTube, and so much more. And speaking of exposure, we see celebrities everywhere now, too, for the most part. Making an appearance at a televised event back in the day was like seeing them in concert. You couldn't see them anywhere else except on TV, but we can go through their social medias all the time now. While this doesn't negate their talent or ability, their presence could be overbearing, and some may feel like that. Finally, some people are honestly just sick of award shows. Plenty of celebrities have millions of dollars, which I think is crazy to think about, but do we really need to watch them get gold-plated awards or platinum statues too? Not really. Some view award shows as self-indulgent and that these people are trapped in their own bubble of fame. However, to each their own. But I think these are all factors contributing to the decline in award shows. But let me know what you think in the comments. And is there anything that can be done to save them and help the ratings? Thanks for listening, everybody.